Welcome to this short demonstration of Autosol Communications Manager collecting data from an Emerson FB3000 RTU over DMP3. We'll also demonstrate Autosol transferring some of that data to a Matricon OPC client as an example of how data can be used in a third-party SCADA package. Here we have a Windows 2016 server which has FBX Connect connected to a test FB3000 RTU. The RTU is running a simulation with two meters running. That's the gas DP meter and a linear meter. If we look at the DP meter, we'll be able to see the live values changing. If we move the mouse across these values, we will be able to see the internal tag names in the pop-up tooltip. We should keep a track of those for use later when configuring our Autosol system. We're also running one of the Vincent applications managing a separator. So if we go to the separator operate display, we can see a couple more simulated values. These are user values, unlike the previous values, which are the standard values in the device and the points. It's a good idea to create a spreadsheet that lists all the points that you will want. The first column I just put a general description, but the second column should be the correct tag name and it is case sensitive. So, having closed FBX Connect, we open up the Autosol Configuration Manager. We connect to the ACM system. And then we can go to the dashboard and see the data that is currently being collected. And here we've just got three values. We've got a simulated input and a couple of watchdogs showing the status of the applications running on the device. I've just got these here to show that we have communications running. Next, we're going to add some more tags to that configuration. So we go to the dashboard and then the alias group we've configured earlier. We edit that using a form and then have a look at the records that are being requ requested. Click the edit records button. That will allow us to edit the records that are being collected by ACM. And as you can see, there's three there. Show the ones we saw on the screen just now, the same three, and you can see there's tag names. If we want to add more, the easiest way to do it is the uh, tabular display. Again, we see the same three, and we're actually going to add 12 tags. So we hit that button 12 times, giving a total of 15 tags, and then go to the spreadsheet we created earlier. Select the description and also the tag name, copy them, and then go ACM configuration. It's important to highlight the fields, then press Ctrl V to paste those in. You will then need to save your configuration by using the floppy disk icon at the top. Close this display, but you can check the tags are there first. Save and then go back to the dashboard and refresh the display so it shows those new tags and you will then be able to see all the tags with their values. It will take a few seconds. These are only being collected every 20 seconds for the database to refresh and bring up the values. And here you can see those tags all being collected. Those of you who are familiar with Autosol will know that it is a polling engine, not a SCADA system. It's normally used con in conjunction with a SCADA package which acts as a OPC client. I don't have a SCADA system installed on this uh, PC, but I do have Matricon's OPC Explorer, which is an excellent test OPC client. And we'll connect it to the Autosol server and then add some additional tags to it. Here's some tags that were configured in XML file beforehand. That's how Matricon keeps its configuration. And what we're going to do is then add some additional tags by right-clicking on the test group, add items, 
And again, we want to go back to the spreadsheet where we saved our tag names. So first, let's take one of the separator values and copy the tag name carefully, because again, it is case sensitive. Now, first, we need to put the R2 name in, which is configured within Autosolve, that's FB3000A, and then paste the tag name after it. You may notice that for a user-defined tag, you add the data type, that's double in this case, on the end, and you can see we have the live value coming in from the RTU. If we want to add another tag, this time one of the standard tags, we can do exactly the same thing, but this does not have the data type on the end. Again, we type the RTU name, FB3000A, and a period followed by the tag name and press OK. And that tag will appear and you can see it is being requested at the top. And those values are. But this we close the Matricon OPC server and that's the end of our demo. Thank you.